okay so once you download the split polygon um, files from the Google Drive these are the files and the tutorial video is inside the video tutorial folder let's see if we can uh, go to this folder within arc gis so in arc map you can click on the catalog um, button in the toolbar and then the catalog window will open up then you can actually connect uh, you can connect click on this and connect to a folder on your system i've already connected to my arcpy folder inside the tutorial folder this is where i've downloaded the files if you click the plus button next to the uh, toolbox the split by equal parts toolbox you will see the split polygon um, script now if you don't see it is okay if you see it right click on the toolbox and go to properties um, right click on the script sorry <coughs> now this script has a different file path on my machine than yours so on your machine you would have to go to source and click on the browse button to go and pick the python script that means the path will change for you then you click on ok then you can actually run the tool now if you don't have this script tool so i'm going to delete it and show you what to do if you don't have this script tool so let me delete mine let's say i don't have it i don't have this script tool and this is usually on old versions of Arc arcmap right click the toolbox go to add and click on script and this will allow you to attach a script to the toolbox so i can give it any name i want but the name shouldn't have a, a space so i'm going to call it split polygon then the label can be anything you want it can ask, actually have a space split polygon tool and if you go down you can store relative paths in case you move the tool i'm going to click on next and then I'm going to browse for my script file. So let's go to the same folder. In my tutorial folder, the script is called Unza Split Equal Parts. That's the Python script. Let's open it. So now that's the right path on this machine. Now we have to define the variables. This script accepts four variables. In the display name column, you can enter any phrase you want. Uh, so the first parameter is for the input uh, shape file so i'm going to say input input file or input shape file whatever name you want to call it and the data type for this is a feature layer so this is in alphabetical order so go to feature layer the second parameter is the number of splits so the number of um, i'm going to call it subdivisions to make it clear and this is going to be a string remember we're setting this up one time string and then the default value i'm going to say you should be able to split something in 10 that's the default the user can change it if they want the next parameter is the direction of split remember any name describable name you can use is okay so this is direction of split and this is also a string parameter string parameter and the direction of split the the default value is going to be north south but we're going to modify the filters so we're going to use a value filter and give the user two options to split the polygon by the north south direction or the west east direction so we can apply and okay that so we can have a nice drop down list for the user yeah the next parameter is the output um, shapefile name and that will also be a string. string and the default name for that could be cut polygon cut polygon so once I have the default name set up, I can click on finish and that will complete the parameters for the tool. So now the tool, we have the tool here. 
and going for it all you have to do is double click the tool when you double click the tool to launch the tool with the various parameters set out one second let me go back and actually load my polygon in oh, this does not disturb it let me first load my polygon so in the same tutorial folder there's a sample polygon so let's use the first polygon <coughs> I want to show you what the tool does if it recognizes polygons in the layers so let's double click the tool again sorry double click the split Hold on. Instead of running the tools, giving us the properties. Okay, sorry. I was clicking somewhere else. So now the tool you see that the input in the input shape file is giving us a drop down here where to list all the polygons available then the number of subdivisions let me change the subdivision to four then we can choose between north south or west east and then we can change the name of the output polygon if we wanted to with this i'm going to click on ok for the processing to begin so it's going to start dividing the polygon and exporting it as the name we we gave to the output polygon let's wait for that to finish so now the polygon has finished and it has exported it in the same folder as our input polygon so if we go to the folder we'll see there's a cut polygon folder there Let's drag it to the map and there we have four equal parts the polygon has been split in four equal parts so this is how the tool works so you can split any polygon you want into any number of parts if you have a problem reach out to me and uh, i think there's a there's a text file within that folder that has my contact details so you can reach out to me <clears throat> if you also have an interesting project that you want us to look at I'm more than willing to so hear my details, my WhatsApp number, and these are the automations I like doing. So you can just reach out to me and we can build more tools. Thank you very much.